Kayla, please like and subscribe. I really like that graphic, by the way. I'm not gonna lie. I did too. I mean, we smile. I just was like, oh, Me too. Love. I this was is looking at it like, oh. <laughs> yeah. So I forget Holly can't see us. Uh, this week, like... we're gonna talk mm -hmm. about the good first, and I actually, this is a little bit dated news, but it gets into kind of the news that's been going on this week. So the good yeah. this week is Coinbase suing the SEC. The reason I, I know suing has got that negative tone to it, but most people understand where I'm coming from. The suing of the SEC to get an answer of, are you going to regulate crypto? That's basically what they're asking. Are you and when is regulations coming? Mm -hmm. Because we've seen some regulations with like uh, Binance pulling out of Canada that actually happened I think while we were recording last week, last Friday, yeah. uh, and they're pulling out of, they made that decision because of new guidance that was uh, related to stable coins and investor limits. And they're not the only ones that have pulled out of Canada. So the Coinbase saying, hey, well, are you gonna regulate it? When are you gonna do it? We need answers because you guys keep coming back basically saying, we don't know, um, we don't like how you're doing it, but we're not gonna tell you how to do it. And it's just been chaos for the whole industry. You know, Pakistan just made cryptos illegal and they say they're never gonna legalize them again. They're gonna fall way behind. So yeah. I like the move of Coin or Coinbase saying, hey, yeah, they're, we'll yeah, just nice, combine nice a merge. monopoly. Is there a merger coming that we don't know <laughs> Trademarked, about? Trademarked, I'll trademark it. Coinance. But uh, I, I do like the fact that they did that to say, hey, what's going on? Give us some guidance. Which brings us to the bad mm. of the SEC going, maybe, mm -hmm. but we're in no hurry <laughs> and we can't give you a timetable, which what I've yeah. seen most people are reading into that being a couple years down the road. Well, that's part of the reason why I think it's bad is because we are following are following further and further behind. Like we, yeah. We need, we could be the leaders. This country, United States, could be the leaders in the crypto space and has actually done a pretty good job of taking some of the forefront of this, even with no regulations. But the problem with it is we could build massive projects and then the SEC would be like, yeah, that's really cool, but no, you have to follow these guidelines and we have to start all over again. Well, that's what I was going to say. You know, they're in no rush to you know, put out the guidelines or any of that, but you're in a rush to look into companies and tell them they're doing things wrong, telling uh, there's no, there's no um, regulation or guideline for any of these companies. So they're, they're building it blindly only to have the SEC come in and say, oh no, this is wrong. We're going to go after you. Like it's, it it's no not sense. right. It makes no sense to me. Yeah. Just so all of a sudden they come after you and go, well, you can't do this. All right. Well, we didn't know. Never heard right. before whether we could or could not do it. It's just well, no company operates like that. Yeah. And I feel like Coinbase making this, you know, in, in the good part of our good, bad and ugly, that is great. I, I know, you know, suing people isn't the best, but they're doing it so that they have to, you know, put out the guidelines. But I think the SEC is going to come back and be like, nah, we're going to drag this one out. I mean, how long has the Ripple one been going on? Forever. And everybody said that what? there was a good chance that, that the um, decision would be this month. And I haven't heard we're, anything else to make yeah. me think that that's going to happen because we're getting pretty late into May now. So, yeah, I, yeah, I'm with you on that. I It makes zero sense. And I also don't understand why the United States um, or any country, as a matter of fact, wouldn't want to be at the forefront of this. Right. Like, why not get ahead of it? They don't want other people to be at the forefront. They want to be the forefront yeah. of it all. That's the problem. It's nobody else, but because that's what, I mean, I, I really do believe that that's why your banks don't let you buy crypto, but you hear in the background, they're creating their own. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and and gobbling yeah. it up and storing it and, exactly yeah. so I don't think it's a necessarily a thing of they don't want to be the forefront. They want to be the very first, but there's already all these people who have projects and, you know, it's already out there. And so they're not going to support them until they do have guidelines. And, you know, the U S is going to come in with the perfect, the perfect coin or crypto or whatever, you know, I don't know. But tell me who that, who that benefits. The U.S. Yeah, only, but not the just, actual not, government. Yeah, not, not the us. country, yeah, not us, not, not the citizens, no. the politicians. Which there you is, go. There, yeah. drives me insane because we talk about what mo- motivates a lot of people in 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 this space, but in business in general is greed. Mm-hmm. If they would do what was best for the citizens, I think we'd be light years ahead of where we are already when it comes to this space. I, so, I think so too. That's definitely why I picked it as the bad. Yep, that's a good. Did you have something you wanted to say? No. You look no, like you I did. was just yeah. Politicians, you had me there. I was yeah. Like, uh. yeah. Uh, I'm sure we'll Washington see some of that in cold. your new segment that debuts today. Oh, was, Maybe not today, but in the future there'll be some. I was thinking there'll that. There'll be some stuff. Come that'll up. be later. So it brings me to the ugly. Uh oh. It never ceases to amaze me sometimes how people act, whether it be on Twitter, whether it be oh, in real life, yeah, uh, what, wherever it may be. But the ugly this week, actually, a company made it really, really easy for me to pick. <laughs> and for some people that are on crypto Twitter, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Probably already know before I say the name. But Evergrow has decided, and they already have paid, and I'll use their words, crypto YouTube crypto influencers mm-hmm. to shill their product and I'm not gonna say the name of the person they've already done but that wasn't enough right that that alone wasn't enough they want to step further and put a tweet out saying hey does anybody know any other crypto YouTube influencers that we can pay to shill our product oh my gosh. and we actually got tagged in it which is why I saw it in the first place. And I was like, what? I don't understand it. I understand people wanting to come out and talk about their project, Mm -hmm. but to pay people to talk about it on a weekly basis or one time, here's a lump sum, one isn't good for the ecosystem because what are those people gonna do with those coins? sell them eventually they're gonna maybe they have to wait so long I have no idea for the record we're not paid by anybody Mm -hmm. but that's why we do what we do right so that we can bring leaders of projects on or people in the community so that you can get a perspective Mm -hmm. not to try to get you to buy something right not try to get you to sell something but just so that you can make a truly educated decision and to get to know some of these leaders on a different level. Yeah. To, that's not what they're trying to accomplish. Right. They're trying to accomplish more buys and get their name out that way. And it just, it's a bad look. Yeah. An ugly look, I guess I should say. Ooh. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Is there? No. No. <laughs> okay. no, no, I was just getting ready. But no. yeah. Just just something. Go ahead, Holly. Yeah. No, I, I'm i just, along those lines, you know, I just don't agree um, with the people he he has been choosing so far. Yeah, I'm not going to name names. You can if you want. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> no, no <laughs> I just, no, no. It, it's just interesting to me. But I mean, you know, these people do these YouTube videos and stuff for this very reason, right? Like we do it more of the, along the lines of fun, but people make a living off of this. I think it's not, I I don't think it's what ethical, I guess. It's not ethical most of the time. um, I mean, if you want to, if you're, if you want to pay somebody to do that and they agree to it and they send it out, I mean, you're only setting yourself up for failure, I feel like, because the minute like that, that person that you paid no longer gets paid, what are they going to do to your project? 
they're either not going to talk about it anymore or they're going to bash it. There's no, like there's, that's either, or there's really no in between because I have yet to see one YouTuber leave a project without bashing the shit out of it. Yeah. yeah. Or so, even Twitter influencers that they just go dead silent on it. They'll push it and push it and push it for probably so many tweets is probably what it. the contract is. <sighs> and then nothing. Well, yeah just goes away no. like it doesn't even exist no i know like that that's the thing but they come out of the woodworks if something goes wrong and being and they come out and say oh i'm so glad i stopped promoting that yeah but you did like take responsibility for all of your followers because you're an influencer yeah. that you got a lot of people in there um Absolutely. because you were promoting it right so take that responsibility and don't like I just kind of come back and just be like, you know, don't bash it, but just say I was promoting this. I this is the reason I'm not anymore. But you don't. You just stay super silent until something goes wrong, yeah. and then turn it around like, oh, this is why I don't like them. Yeah. Like it's yeah. just <laughs> crap. It's yeah, crap. So yeah, for sure, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> so that's your uh, good, the bad, and the ugly this week. A wrap, huh? Yeah, so I have like a bonus ugly. Can okay. we can we talk about it? two times ugly? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I can't really say it's like a bonus crypto talk. So I've been following this is crazy because there was so much hype and hoopla around it. I've been following this token called Psyops. Yep. Uh oh. Almost talked um, about it, but I decided to leave it off the table. But go right ahead. Well, well I want to talk about it because it's actually like educational value comes along with it. Um, so they launched, you know, this is the craziest thing. So this influencer, I'm assuming that's what he is. I don't really know too much about him. It's Ben.eth or yeah. underscore ETH, one of the two, I don't know. He created this token and how he did the pre-sell was really odd. Um, he had people send it to his wallet, his personal wallet. Um, and then he was, you know, they were going to airdrop the people after the fact, but there's so much chaos. He's been like hinting, hinting, hinting. We're going to, you know, release the contract. We're going to release contract since like Wednesday. Finally did, or Tuesday, finally did last night. And it was horrible. Um, there was an issue with liquidity. He opened up the contract with, I think it was $0 of liquidity. Um, and so people were getting wrecked and I mean wrecked and, you know, he came back and was like, oh, I did this on purpose. I psyops these people because he's trying to, you know, get the sniper, the, the sniper bots out there that were trying to steal the liquidity. Um, it was chaos last night, but supposedly he's trying to make it right. Um, I was one of the crazy people that sent money to his address and... <laughs> In, in my defense, though, I did it because I wanted to see how this was all going to go down. I not like not part, any part of me was like, I'm going to be a millionaire off of this. But I wanted to follow exactly what he's doing because I had heard that he had some of the best devs, all this stuff. And so I wanted to see this through. So I was one of the, you know, the crazy ones that sent money to his address. I woke up this morning because they were supposed to do airdrops. He, you know, was coming out and saying, we're, we're working on airdrops in the next hour, blah, blah, blah. And finally at like 11 o'clock, I was like, I'm done. I'm not waiting anymore. Let's see what shit show I wake up to in the morning. <laughs> um, so I looked at my wallet to see if I'd gotten air, you know, airdrop my tokens. And I did. And I literally got um, it was 27,000 tokens, which I will tell you, I put in $500. I sent him $500. I got 27,000 tokens. They're worth $28. Oh, and nice. a lot of people are like, what the hell? So then I'm looking around Twitter and reading some stuff. And, um, apparently the airdrops aren't done. When I look at the ether e in on ugh, when I look at Ether Scan for my transactions, it looks like I should have got airdropped a whole lot more 
and they were removed. It is the weirdest thing I've seen in a long time. This is the worst launch I have seen in a very long time. And that goes even with the rug pullers, you guys. Like, it's that bad. Yeah. Um, people were like, I had a, one of my friends wanted to buy in, you know, at launch. They didn't get into pre-sale because it wasn't, you know, they weren't comfortable sending somebody money to a personal address. I get it. Yeah. I I mean, I wasn't really either, but again, I was never willing, do that. <laughs> yeah, I was willing to lose this money yeah. for my own like research purposes. I'm not even kidding. Like this is the only reason I did it. Mm -hmm. And so I went through like it was the worst launch. And I feel like this guy is using the excuse of, oh, you've been psyopsed because it's it's an easy out. He's saying like all this stuff was done on purpose because we are being psyoped. And it's like, no, no, you just don't know what you're doing. And then they send out, oh, people in crypto have so much, they don't even know they have so much to learn. And I'm like, I think that they have so much to learn because the way they did it, they didn't do their calculation right. Like it's really bad. Pre-sellers got screwed. People who tried to buy got screwed because other people were opening and putting money into liquidity pools. And so it was creating different contracts. There was three versions of this contract. One of them was a honey pot. The second one was somebody put like 10,000 in liquidity and people were buying that and they were pulling liquidity it was bad the third one is the price was just so like it says it has a 550 million dollar market cap the liquid in liquidity it says it has like 28 million dollars it we know this is not true like but <clears throat> this is the contract he's running off of right so in order to get to double your money ever you have to get above the market cap that it's at and right now it's at 500 so you're telling me this coin's going to a billion dollars and even then it's only gonna 2x mm, it's crazy they need to do something yeah. um he claims he you know there's still more airdrops to come out um still doesn't and matter. if you don't yeah. no and he's saying the like if you work. As long as you don't transfer or sell your tokens, you're gonna be rewarded even more. Like it is, you guys, I've never seen like, a worse yeah. launch, a worse, I've never seen it. And I mean, we've seen some crazy ass shit in this space. Yeah. And I'm telling you yesterday's experience and even this morning is just mind, bo mind boggling to me because He's turning it around and saying, oh, well, these people are being psyoped. And it's just, no, these people are being scammed mm -hmm. is what it is. Yeah. Which I think was including the plan myself, from the beginning. But... I mean, I, that's why I, I just think that was all yeah. planned out. And the reason I didn't pick it, and I'm totally cool with you bringing that up, is just that I saw some people on Twitter that I actually kind of care about that yeah. I know were in it. And I was just like, uh, I... To each their own, right? I'm not here to be anybody's father figure well, and, and say thing, this like, or that. It's but it's just like I hope it works, but I had a really bad feeling yeah. from the beginning. I still hope it works. I hope this dude was legit from the beginning and it turns it around. Uh, you just can't my gut just didn't feel right about it from the get go. No, I I didn't either, but I I mean I made some money, you know, elsewhere. And I put it in there I because a lot of my crypto, you guys, is literally just profits moving around. Right. I don't put any extra money of like fiat in there. I literally just move because some of these projects are doing nothing. So why am I going to hold it? You're not going to do anything. I'm going to sell it and I'll put it over here. Maybe it will. I want to see what this one does. So none of my money is actually like I feel like it's funny money. Like, I know I can pull it out if I wanted to and put it, you know, in my bank account, but I'd have to pay taxes on that. So why not play? Yeah. Like, I'm, that's literally the way I'm looking at it is it's all play money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. But, you know, I read something the other day that, and I don't remember the percentage on it, but that's what they were saying. We're kind of in a weird spot in the crypto industry where a lot of the money is just being moved from one project yeah. to another project. It's not new money. Mm -hmm. And to no. get into this bull market that bull run that everybody wants 
there has to be new money introduced. And so you know, we'll see how yeah. long that takes. But more and more yeah. times that projects like this come out, I feel like we're just pushing that out even further. Yeah, I was just going to like say almost that exact same thing. I feel like the more projects that are happening like this is the more people are going to look at it and be like, crypto is a scam. Mm -hmm. Like, and that is what is really disappointing because all this work that people are trying to, you know, bring oh, out there is being, yeah. being destroyed by these meme coins that these influencers are pumping and dumping like it's and so it's making it look like a scam and that's it that's really disappointing i mean yes i've joined in on this but i understand what it is not everybody does yeah. well, and you, so you it's ruining the, a lot of people you have the government that's also telling everybody that you know what crypto is only around just so people can illegally move money and do illicit things with the money when mm -hmm. studies have been shown that 0.15% of transactions on, in crypto are actually for illicit reasons, mm -hmm. where two to 5% of transactions in fiat are for illicit reasons. So the government's, the money that backs our government is actually being used more for illicit reasons yeah. than crypto. It's 0.15% of all transactions. I don't know how many trillions of transactions have happened on the blockchains, but that's not very much money. No, no. But that's what they want to use to try to keep it down going back to yeah. the whole SEC stuff. So. Mm -hmm. I'm Caleb. Please like and subscribe.